everybody welcome back this is tinker 77 and we are again on my survival multiplayer server we're down in the iron farm right now and that's because uh, i'm gonna start right off by restocking my store apparently the iron just goes like crazy so we're gonna grab some iron i don't care which chest is let's go right here we're gonna grab a whole bunch of this iron that should be a full double chest worth so we're gonna do that and we're gonna head on out we're gonna head over to town real quick and restock and show you some things that have been going on on the server this has been kind of fun Oh yeah, I changed this elevator to be a redstone elevator that swaps the block instead of the two elevators like we had. So I just walk in here, shoots on up, there we go, and we're on out. It's great, great little thing, and it's based off the same tutorial that I put on, uh, redstone tutorial that I put up on my channel just a few days ago. So take a look at that if you want to know how to do it. And now I'm at the iron shop here. I'm going to put all of this iron here. There are no diamonds because during a stream, I took the diamonds out, which is how I knew this was empty. But we are over here because we built a monstrosity right over there let's go over there and take a look at this this machine was created during the live stream and what this is is a concrete maker you put in your concrete powder and it goes past some water up there and goes into a system here which then uses tnt to blow it up and all the drops go into this hopper chain into the chest over here now this design is by mumbo um i used his tutorial i'll put a link to that down in the description but let's go upstairs and let's uh, start this up and i'll show you how it works Okay, we're right here. We're going to start the machine up. You're going to start to hear some explosions. Let's do that. There we go. Some TNT's going, and then it just goes down. Drop. It's going to blow up. I'm going to turn that sound down just a little bit here. So it's going to keep on doing that for a while, and what we do is we come over here, stand where this torch is, and place the concrete powder against this sticky piston like this. And there we go. It's basically making a lot of concrete, because as the concrete flows past the water, it solidifies. It goes in this tube over here, and basically these pistons that you can see right there push the stuff down, and they get blown up by the TNT. Let's go finish out these few stacks here. And just like that, we have a lot of concrete. This is awesome. It works great. There we go. Now, of course, there's a little bit left over in the system, but that's okay. The next time someone uses it, like me or someone else on the server, you know, there'll be some extras there. But that's okay. We don't mind. Concrete's pretty easy to get nowadays. And, you know, with this system, it makes it easy to make it from powder to concrete solid concrete so that's kind of cool okay i'm gonna grab my uh ender chest we're gonna head back towards the base because we're gonna start to do some work the big base build is going to be based around this point right here this white concrete column this build i want to make is going to be a giant circle and it's supposed to be 192 blocks wide okay now because i don't want to have an even number um I'm going to make it 191, and it's based off of this right here. So we should go, I think, about maybe six chunks that way. And that's where the other point of this, like one radius of this circle will be. Let's go over there. And here we are on the western side. You can see the center point over there and my nether portal. That's the center of the uh, circle that we're trying to make. Okay. And it's going to go all the way around here. And you can see this is another point on the northern side. I put that so you can see it. So you can imagine this is going to be a circle here. It's going to go all the way around and through the mountain and around. And this is going to be my base, okay? So what we want to do here, I think I'm going to start to clear out some of these trees and at least make the first half circle. And we're going to see how that looks, okay? Wow, guys, we finished that. That's one half circle. I should say one quarter circle. Remember, it's going to go all the way around this whole entire area. This whole mountain is going to have to be bulldozed. But uh, you saw some problems here. I have uh, some tree uh, obstacles. So I'm going to take a little bit of time here. I'm going to take out at least this quarter's worth of trees and maybe around the slight edge of this. So at least I have a little bit better area to work with. 
Now you notice it's a little higher than the ground level. I want it to be about five blocks higher than water level. So that's where I built it. Um, I'm going to work on, like I said, clearing right now. We're going to get that done. And then I'm going to think I'm going to go the other way and see if I can get to that. At least get a half circle done. You can see the quarter circle that I already did. I've also done a second quarter circle that went through this mountain and it goes over to this pillar over here. So I want to show you this right now. Basically, what we've got here is it kind of circles around and into the mountain. And then what I have done is I went through and dug this first and made the actual circle line. And then I went and pillared up and took out the wall above it. So this entire section over here is separate from this over here. And the whole point is, is that later on, hopefully in this episode, we're going to bring a beacon over and we're going to do a lot of mining and bring this all down to the same level and get this uh, big hill out of the way. So what I'll have to do next is I have to get the uh, other half of this circle done. And so I'm going to do that now. And uh, when I come back, hopefully the circle will be complete. Okay, we just finished the circle and what is this? Who's this? Darth Tinker 77? I've been waiting for you, Tinker 77. We meet again at last. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. My name is Inigo Montoya, Tinker 77. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry. Well, that was certainly interesting. And like Darth Tinker 77 said, the circle is complete, guys. So I have done all the sides. This goes on out over there and same thing over there. And it's all the way around. Okay. Now the hard part, and this is going to be kind of a challenge. I want to get everything that's above this white line layer, which is layer 68. I want all of that to be bulldozed down. And this big one's going to be this mountain in, in these two quadrants little bit over here so we're gonna try to do this right now this will probably take me quite a long time although it'll be a short time for you guys it's gonna be quite a long time for me so let's get started progress update for you i have been working a lot on taking down this mountain got a lot done and i have been having help from other people on the server they've come over to help so we have thomas grillo and momcrafter42 helping out and you can see we took out that is one whole side this side's already done here and over here is another one and so we just have this quadrant left this has taken us a couple of days which is why this video is uh releasing a little bit late but uh, it's taken a, you know, a lot of time. And I really want to say thank you to Thomas and MomCrafter in the video here for helping me out. This uh, would have taken me a lot longer than I thought. Um, <laughs> so thanks, guys. Uh, I'm going to continue to finish this. And hopefully in just a few seconds, we'll be done.
Again, I want to say thank you to Mom Crafter and Thomas Grillo for helping me out. We had a lot of fun. All right, guys, it is Thursday evening and it's right before I should stream. And uh, I still have like eight minutes of video at least that I need to record and get edited down. So I'm going to stream and then when I get back, we'll see where we're at and we'll, then we'll finish up this video. OK, so there'll probably be some changes in this area. Uh, I might try to work on some building of this. I'm not sure, but it'll happen during the stream Thursday night. We're doing this on Twitch. You can go to twitch.tv slash tinker77 live uh, and you can join us there for the streams in the future. OK, so I'll see you on the other side. And we're back, guys. It's after the stream, and I want to show you what we did. We uh, made some arches. We wanted to make something like a dome, and we decided to go with an orange layer and then some glass with some uh, sea lanterns to use for some lighting. We thought that'd be different and contrast a little bit from using an orange like glowstone. And then we have some red trim, and this goes all the way up. Now, we did one side. We didn't have a lot of time to do the rest of it, and honestly, we needed more of the orange glass. So that's something that we'll have to do uh, maybe in another stream or uh, off camera work that we're going to do. And we also did each of these edges here. You can see it goes all the way up. This is like the center line. I wanted to make those so at least we get the right math. And fortunately, everything worked out really well. Um, I didn't have any mistakes as far as the build of the circles that go up. And that's fantastic. Now, if you know about circles, they usually have a pattern where they go towards the center and then they kind of like it's the other side of it. Like this whole this is like nine blocks wide. And it's the same thing as here. It's nine blocks wide. Well, the center point I marked with a different color just so I knew where it was. And you can see it there. There's a piece of white concrete. That's the center point of this particular arch. And, of course, then we have a, a white concrete right there at the top. Okay. Let's go take a look at this and see how this looks from the air. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a little early in the morning on Friday morning. I'm going to try to get this thing done. This video, I mean. So uh, I'm trying to get you some uh, shots of this first, but basically this is what it looks like. It's very, very, very cool. Now I know that this looks like uh, a certain hermit's um, base from season six in some ways, just different colors and things. And yes, I'm taking some inspiration from that, but I've got some ideas on how I want this to look. And I talked about that in the stream. There are a bunch of different things that I can do here, and I will show those off probably in the next couple of episodes. I'll start to work on that. Probably the next thing we'll do, though, is we'll just get this particular um, arch cross, if you will, done. Okay, so I think I think we're going to leave this for now. I want to go and do some stuff um, over in the community area, and I have an idea, but we're going to head over to my uh, mini base and see about some gathering some stuff up and see what we can uh, do with this idea. I just flew over to the iron farm and villager area and it's so cool because I can look back and I can see it and you can even see some of the color a little bit. It's that big that you can see that base. This is gonna be a lot of fun making that. I thought that was really cool. Um, anyway, moving on. I want to gather up some chests and some signs and some other things. Looks like we need to make some chests. I didn't realize we were that low on chests. Um, let's make some more. Basically, I want to make up a, a little bit of a scavenger hunt for the server. Um, I think this would be kind of cool. Let's just get a bunch more and make some signs. Um, I really like collecting things. And so I'm thinking about doing some stuff with the mini blocks and the little... Uh, hermit heads and mob heads we've got going in this thing because if you don't know we've got various heads you can get various heads that you can get from the monsters and we also have various hermit heads that you can get because we're using that particular pack and there's also the mini blocks there are mini blocks in here so i think we want to try to influence the rest of the people on the server to get some stuff for us okay wow there's a head over here that's a wither skeleton skull that's okay do i have one of those over here no, but I have a wither head. I killed the wither. So yeah, we're going to uh, make a little bit of a game, I think, out of this. Um, hopefully, uh, people will enjoy it that are on the server. I also want to let you guys know, if you'd like to play on this server and play with myself, Tinker77, and some of the other people who are on here, it's very easy to do. All you need to do is go over to patreon.com. P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash Tinker77. And you can join up there, and with the Patreon access, you can get whitelisted on this server. You can build a base. You can do some of these mini games with us, and it's a lot of fun. So if you get the chance, come on out. It'd be great to see you. Love to have you on the server. Love to play with you. 
Okay, let's get back to this project. The tunnels in the nether are so confusing, but I have started to learn to uh, actually travel through by flying. Let's go here. I know how to get to the community area rather quickly. You can see all the tunnels are all covered over. Thomas Grill will cover them all over so that uh, we don't get attacked when we're walking around. But it's so much easier just to fly than to go through and go through the maze of tunnels. So, yep. Anyway, we're back at the community center. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up an area for hermit heads, okay? And then we're going to set up an area up here for, this is for like mini blocks. And then we're also going to have mob heads, okay? These are various chests for that. And I want to reward them, the players. So we're going to put diamonds in. They will swap these out, okay? So this is pretty easy to do. Hopefully I have enough diamonds. And it is taken from my diamond reserves, but that's... Uh, can't be helped. I don't think I have enough here. I'll have to go get some more diamonds probably. We might have to go do a quick mining session to get some more diamonds. But anyway, we have these chests here. And we're going to basically, it's going to be called... Let's put a sign up here. Let's see, this is what... Well, let's put something up here. This is for the mob heads. Mob heads here. One diamond. I better do it in caps so that Thomas can see it. He is visually... Uh, impaired, so he can capitals are easy for him to see. One diamond for each unique mob head. Okay, and this one here is the same thing. This is this is not mob head though. This is um, mini block. So mini block here, and again one diamond for each unique <laughs> mini block, and then okay. Over here, it's going to be Hermit Heads, one diamond each. And I don't care about these. Can't even spell. You know, we've only got a certain amount here. I don't care that they're unique as much, so that's kind of cool. Now, I'm going to put in an Imer stand in just a little bit here, and we're going to have like a little thing that kind of shows it off. But I don't like how this is not very uh, uh, easily found. I think what I want to do is I want to make something kind of big up here, like something out of glowstone or something. Like an, I'm thinking like an arrow. I think that'd be really cool. So let me go gather some glowstone up uh, in the nether again. <laughs> Fly around some more and get some more stuff. And make something so it's a little more visual. So people can uh, come out here and know that this exists. I was just coming down my uh, ladder from upstairs. There's a creeper in this hole. I've caught a creeper. And uh, if I had gone on down, I would have died. Wow. Got my glowstone. Got my armor stand. Let's head back. Okay, we're going to try to make like a little bit of an arrow, and that's the bottom block. Okay, so we're going to go out a little bit here on each side, and then we'll go again. We'll do it again. I think we could do like a, a, a profile, not a profile, what would you call it? A uh, outline, that's what I'm thinking, I'm thinking of, of the arrow. Um, that way we can kind of save a little bit of glowstone. We don't have a lot of this as a resource. Okay, let's go up again. We're going to go out again. I'm thinking like that. We might have to make it solid. I don't know. Doesn't how it looks. Let's go... Wow, that's already kind of big. Um, and then, do we have to just fill this in? And then, uh, let's go four up here. And let's go see how that looks. Does that look like an arrow? Let's fly out. Yep, that's exactly what I want. Of course, taking out the base. Now, this is only being able to be seen <laughs> from this side. Oh, wow. That was a really, really, really bad landing. But if you come over here from, uh, this will be Mom Crafter's house. It looks just like a, a pillar of glowstone. So I'm going to imitate that and make it go off on each side. The arrow will do. This is just temporary. So now I would like to get the armor stand with this skull because you know what? It was his idea that's kind of like we're doing something that's very similar to what he's done on uh, currently what's going on in Hermitcraft. So I thought it might just like, you know, a little... Pay homage to him a little bit here. We've got uh, some armor here for him and his head, right? There we go. Let's put this stuff on here. And and, and, and there he is, Iskel Man. And we have over here that. And of course, you know what? He's got to be carrying a slime block. Now, can I give him this slime blocks? No. Okay, so we'll put one there and we'll put one down here. And there we go. So, you know, this is his little bit of idea. He's doing this currently in Hermitcraft. And I thought, you know what? I do like to collect these things. So maybe I can uh, get some community interaction uh, by doing this. Okay, so now we have, yeah, this mini blockhead game going on. 
Now what I'd like to do is put some signs around and say go to uh, Tinker's house and do this so we can go uh, put this some places some strategic places You know we go out here like people come always come out of here from the from the nether We'll put a sign down a little say mini blockheads uh, Should we do a game which if I say game at Tinker's house Okay I wish there was a way that you could just duplicate signs. I could make, uh, just copy them, and then it, uh, you can just place the same sign over and not have to type it every time. That'd be a kind of a nice feature. Um, but I'm gonna go running around and do this, I think, for a little bit, just putting signs everywhere, um, and, and see how it goes. All right, guys, I am back, and I have finished up setting up the mini blockhead game. So I think we're going to, uh, work on this, um, off camera. We're gonna work on this base, make some of those things a little bit better. Hopefully, the next video, you'll see some great stuff. I know this little video has been a little bit long in trying to get this out. There was a lot of work that went into digging this out. It took a lot of time. And so, yeah. Ah, sorry about that. But you know what? It's progress. I don't have the same amount of time that some of the other people have. Um, I do have a day job. And so my schedule keeps me a lot from, from working on things that I would like to work on here. Anyway, guys, I sure hope you like this video. If you do, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comments section. And if I can be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.